Hello drivers, I hope you're having a great week. Today we're going to talk about something that 95% of diesel owners don't know, and this knowledge will save you thousands of dollars in repair bills. Your diesel turbo engine is an incredible machine. It produces massive torque at low speeds, uses less fuel than gas engines, and can pull heavy trailers up steep hills without breaking a sweat. But here's the problem, most diesel owners are unknowingly destroying their engines with simple mistakes that seem harmless. These mistakes cost thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay until the end because mistake number 4 alone can prevent you from facing a repair bill that most drivers never see coming. I'll explain this to you simply. From my experience working with these engines for years, I believe these tips will completely change how you drive your diesel. Let's start with the first mistake and this one kills more turbos than anything else. Mistake number 1 is shutting off your engine immediately after driving hard. Picture this scenario, you just finished a long highway drive where you were pulling a heavy boat trailer up mountain passes. Your turbo has been spinning at over 100,000 revolutions per minute, reaching temperatures hot enough to melt aluminum. The moment you park in your driveway, you turn off the key and walk away, you just signed your turbo's death sentence. When you shut off a hot engine immediately, the turbo keeps spinning at incredible speeds, but the oil circulation stops instantly. That superheated oil trapped inside the turbo bearing starts to cook and forms carbon deposits as hard as concrete, these deposits act like sandpaper grinding against the precision bearings inside your turbo. The solution is simple but most people ignore it completely. After any hard driving, highway speeds, or heavy towing, let your engine idle for 60 to 90 seconds before turning it off. This allows the turbo to slow down gradually while keeping oil flowing for cooling and lubrication. Modern diesels have some built-in protections like water-cooled turbos and oil coolers, but don't rely on them completely. That one minute of idling can save you $4,000 in turbo replacement costs. But here's what's really interesting about this cool-down period. It's not just about protecting your turbo. Your entire engine benefits from this gradual temperature reduction, especially the oil itself, which brings us to mistake number two and this one affects every single drive you take. Mistake number two is ignoring your diesel's unique warm-up requirements. Diesel engines are not gasoline engines and treating them the same way will dramatically shorten their lifespan. Diesels need proper warm-up time especially when starting cold, but most people either don't warm them up enough or they warm them up incorrectly. Cold diesel oil is thick like honey and doesn't flow properly to critical components like your turbo bearings. Starting a cold diesel and driving hard immediately is like trying to push thick syrup through a drinking straw. Your bearings don't get proper lubrication which causes premature wear and expensive damage. But here's where most people make their biggest mistake, they let their diesel idle for 10 or 15 minutes thinking they're helping it. Extended idling at low temperatures actually makes the problem worse, the engine never reaches proper operating temperature. Fuel doesn't burn completely and you end up with fuel dilution in your oil and carbon buildup in your combustion chambers. The correct procedure is to start your diesel, let it idle for 30 to 90 seconds to get oil circulating, then drive gently until it reaches operating temperature. Keep the engine speed low and avoid hard acceleration until your coolant temperature gauge shows the engine is fully warmed up, if you have an oil temperature gauge even better, wait for that to show proper temperature too. Driver, this next mistake, everyone makes it at least once, and it's something most people never consider important until it's too late. The quality of diesel fuel matters just as much as it does for gasoline engines. Poor quality diesel fuel can clog your fuel injectors, damage your high-pressure fuel system, and create deposits throughout your engine. Always buy fuel from reputable stations and consider using a quality diesel fuel additive to keep your fuel system clean. Extreme temperatures also affect diesels differently than gas engines. In cold weather diesel fuel can gel up, clogging your filters and leaving you stranded on the roadside. In hot weather your cooling system works over time and poor maintenance can lead to overheating and catastrophic engine damage. But even with perfect warm-up and cool-down procedures, there's another mistake that's costing you money with every mile you drive. Mistake number three is using the wrong oil or extending oil change intervals too long. Most people treat their diesel turbo like a regular gasoline engine when it comes to oil changes. Big mistake, turbo diesels are absolutely brutal on engine oil and here's why. First the temperatures. While a gasoline engine might see oil temperatures around 190 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, your turbo diesel regularly pushes oil temperatures to 240 degrees or higher. At these temperatures conventional oil starts breaking down rapidly, losing its ability to protect your engine. Second is the soot. Diesel engines produce significantly more soot than gasoline engines and the soot ends up in your oil. 
While black oil might look alarming, it's actually doing its job by keeping that soot suspended and away from your engine components, but there's a limit to how much contamination your oil can handle before it becomes harmful. Third is the turbo factor, your turbocharger depends on that same engine oil for lubrication and cooling. The turbo shaft spins at speeds that would make a Formula 1 engine jealous, creating extreme pressure on the oil film, any degradation in oil quality directly threatens your turbo survival. So what's the solution? First use high quality synthetic oil that meets your manufacturer's specifications. Synthetic oil handles high temperatures much better than conventional oil and maintains its protective properties longer, second change your oil more frequently than you think necessary. While some gasoline engines can go 12,000 to 15,000 miles between changes, most turbo diesels should be changed every 7,000 to 10,000 miles, especially if you do towing or hard driving. Don't fall for the marketing trap of extended oil change intervals. Your oil might technically last longer but your turbo won't survive it. The extra few dollars you spend on more frequent oil changes will save you thousands in engine repairs. But there's one more mistake that's particularly common with modern diesel vehicles and it actually makes your emissions system work against you. Mistake number four is only making short trips and never letting your diesel particulate filter regenerate. If you bought a diesel car thinking it was perfect for short city trips and grocery store runs, you made an expensive mistake. Modern diesels are equipped with a diesel particulate filter that captures soot from your exhaust. This filter must burn off that accumulated soot through a process called regeneration and this requires sustained high temperatures. Here's the problem, regeneration typically requires exhaust temperatures around 1100 degrees Fahrenheit, your diesel only reaches these temperatures during sustained highway driving or when working under load, short city trips never allow the exhaust system to get hot enough for proper regeneration. When regeneration fails repeatedly several things happen, first your particulate filter clogs with soot restricting exhaust flow and reducing power, second your engine starts injecting extra fuel trying to heat up the exhaust system killing your fuel economy. Third, this unburned fuel can wash down into your oil diluting it and reducing its protective properties. Finally, the back pressure from a clogged filter can damage your turbocharger. The symptoms are hard to miss. You'll see warning lights on your dashboard, notice black smoke from your exhaust, feel reduced power, and watch your fuel consumption plummet. Ignoring these warnings can lead to repair bills in the tens of thousands of dollars. The solution is simple but requires changing your driving habits. At least once a week take your diesel on a 20 to 30 minute highway drive at sustained speeds above 45 miles per hour. This allows the exhaust system to reach proper regeneration temperatures and burn off accumulated soot. If you see a particulate filter warning light don't ignore it, take your diesel for an extended highway drive immediately. Most cars will complete an active regeneration cycle during this drive clearing the warning light and preventing expensive damage. This brings us to a crucial point about your exhaust gas recirculation system. This system recirculates exhaust gases back into your engine but can get clogged with carbon deposits. When this happens your engine doesn't run properly creating more soot and overwhelming your particulate filter. Regular cleaning of your recirculation valve and proper maintenance of your entire emission system is critical for long-term reliability. From my experience working on these engines, I think preventive maintenance is the most profitable investment you can make in your diesel. Mistake number five is neglecting diesel-specific preventive maintenance. Many drivers think a diesel requires the same maintenance as a gasoline engine. This is wrong. Diesels have unique maintenance needs that if neglected can cost a fortune. A high-pressure fuel system in a diesel operates at enormous pressures sometimes over 30,000 pounds per square inch. These extreme pressures require components with incredible precision. The smallest contaminant in the fuel can damage the injectors, high pressure pump, or fuel rail. This is why regular fuel filter replacement is so important on a diesel. Unlike gasoline engines that can sometimes run with a dirty fuel filter, a diesel with a clogged filter can suffer catastrophic damage. Replace your fuel filter every 15,000 to 20,000 miles or according to your manufacturer's recommendations. The cooling system also deserves special attention. Diesels produce more heat than gasoline engines and work harder. Degraded coolant or a poorly maintained cooling system can lead to overheating that will destroy your engine in minutes. Regularly check the level and color of your coolant. If it's rusty or discolored it's time to replace it. Have your cooling system completely flushed and refilled according to manufacturer recommendations. Don't forget about maintaining your air intake system either. A dirty air filter can reduce performance and increase fuel consumption. More importantly a failing air filter can allow contaminants through that will damage your turbo and cylinders. Inspect and replace your air filter regularly especially if you drive in dusty environments. 
From my experience I believe that preventive maintenance is the best investment you can make in your diesel. A few hundred dollars in regular maintenance can save you thousands in repairs. Your turbo diesel is an investment not just a vehicle. These engines are designed to go hundreds of thousands of miles when properly maintained, but they're less forgiving of neglect than simpler gasoline engines. The added complexity of turbochargers, high-pressure fuel systems, and emissions equipment means small problems can quickly become expensive repairs. The good news is that avoiding these five mistakes will dramatically extend your diesel's life and save you thousands in repair bills, I'll explain this to you simply. These tips are based on years of experience and thousands of engines repaired, apply them and your diesel will reward you with years of reliable and economical service. From my experience I think knowledge is the best tool for protecting your investment. Now you know how to avoid the most expensive mistakes and keep your diesel running perfectly. If you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to subscribe for more automotive tips that will save you money and extend your vehicle's life.